We're having an absolutely amazing day here. Um, Marco, who you met probably about six months ago, uh, he joined the academy. He was one of the students that came in at the very beginning. Um, we started going through his lifestyle, how he can change, he wanted to build his confidence up. We took his original Polaroids, we did a portfolio shoot. Now, six months later, he wanted to step away. He wanted to go and really focus on his energies, on his body, and build that confidence up so that he can come back today and rip out those Polaroids and get another boost of confidence. I've just been shooting the Polaroids. I cannot believe the transformation. I've been training with Marco uh, for the last three months, on and off, now and then again. And I've been like, okay, yeah, he's looking good, looking good. And then today he walks in and boom, Polaroids, amazing. I'm just gonna stop now because I wanna show you a before picture. Right now. <laughs> you see, belly, yes. Now I'm going to show you the picture that we just shot right now. And that's what you get. Dedication, <laughs> passion, training, and a focus. You know, I always talk about focus because you guys have to have your focus, have to have your target, and when you're using the academy tools, they become that focal point. There's no point in having something going on and not actually going to get to that final place, yeah? So, I wanted Marco now to talk to you about what sort of journey he's been on so that you can learn from, uh, you know, your feelings, your emotions, what you've been through, how you've changed your mindset, and I think it's a big help for people out there, especially because, you know, you're not 16 years old, yeah. Marco. <laughs> so so, okay, so yeah. my, my philosophy always in what I do anyway is that anything is possible. Mm -hmm. And anyone is capable of anything once they put the mind to it and focus on it. Yeah. So I'm, I don't need this for the money. I'm already a rich guy. Yeah. Made my money. Yeah, let's tell them. I mean, obviously you have several businesses. You work, yeah. uh, you've been working on your business. A millionaire, for, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Made all that, done all that. And now I've wanted to do something for me because mm -hmm. it took a lot of hard work to do what I did. And now I've got all the time, loads, loads and loads of time. I don't have to work anymore. I've got loads of time to balance my life out. So what do I do in that time? I thought, well, I've always wanted to become a model, do modeling, catwalk, all that. So kind where of has thing. this come from then? This has come from back, when I was a back teenager. yeah, when you were a teenager, yeah. right? So you had. I did a little bit of yeah. catwalk then for fun. It was really enjoyable. Mm -hmm. I thought, didn't pursue it. I thought, but that was like there, and it was always something I wanted to finish, have closure, yeah. see what I could really do, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But then, of course, I got to the age of 44 and I thought I was too old for it. Because in the modeling world, as you know, if you look at the TV, America's Next Top Model, they're all 15, 16, 17 yeah. years old. Well, that's it. When I've been traveling around, I've never met anybody who started thinking about getting into the modeling industry at, at 44. Yeah. You know, they've all come through from the ranks and they've developed and they've grown and now they're 44 working in it. But I think it's a, you know, it's a really amazing journey that you've been on to transform and, and yeah, now actually step forward into that. Yeah, and you basically showed me that there are models older than me yeah. who do, who do who get yeah. great work, yeah. doing great shots, doing great catwalk shows. And I saw that and thought, well, why not? Why yeah. can't I well, do that? Well, that's what people need yeah. to realise, you know, there, there is a space for everybody in the entertainment world. Now, what, what we're saying about the entertainment world is that it's the lifestyle that, yeah. that draws us to it. You know, it's fun, it's exciting, you know, it builds you up, you, you, know, you end up getting fitter and healthier and, you know, you have more confidence in that. So I think that was a great thing for you back then to see that other people were doing it. Yeah. So then you can get in there. It was, and I had my vision, my goal, actually, uh, I've achieved one of my goals today, because my goal was to be photographed in underwear with apps, mm -hmm. showing. And we, you've just seen that now, yeah. what a shot, amazing. So that was my dream, yeah. true, today. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, I'm feeling really good about that, I'm feeling yeah. really amazing about that. 
because it justifies the journey and the process and the, the effort that was put into it. Can you just tell people the sort of efforts and the, the sacrifices that you've taken yeah, really um, the last six months? Well, seven months ago, we started an exercise program because it was really unfit, so we took it really steady. Yeah. You well, let's say, we, yeah, yeah, we went through a very simple, basic Started changing um, my diet training. slowly, getting yeah. more into it. So I was getting comfortable. And of course, I wasn't an expert on training and mm -hmm. fitness and really um, shaping the body right. Yeah. So we did that for three months, saw great results, uh -huh. and then... Which we did actually take some Polaroids then, and we, we saw that development. So it was a big change. But then. for you, actually, that gave you another point of focus. That was a milestone. Yeah. That was a milestone. But then I, I hit kind of a plateau. I thought, right, how can I get the shade that I really want? Mm. So I thought back who I knew. Yeah. Now, I know a guy called John Hodgson, mm -hmm. who's a friend of mine, 25 years, and I realized, oh, my God, this guy has been national bodybuilding champion three times, top 10 in the world. He's still a great friend of mine. Yeah. Why don't I get him over to mentor me yeah. into the next stage of mm -hmm. getting the right body? So he said, yeah, absolutely, love to do it. Mm -hmm. So he came over for two weeks. You yeah. were there with yeah, me Yeah, we met well. him. In actual fact, we, we, we filmed the whole thing as yes. well through the company. So everybody will, will actually benefit from yeah. having John come over. So in the academy, people will start seeing and what we went through yeah, at that point. John's going to be involved in that as well, I think, yeah. which is really yeah. good and help everybody. So the academy, you're going to have a, a training mentor who is a world champion. Yeah, uh, bodybuilder. Yeah. But he's, he's, he's not just about building big muscles. He's about health. He's about fit. He's such a cool guy. And so he's about the science. He just yeah. is a genius on mm -hmm. diet, mm -hmm. balancing the diet, and also balancing the exercise. Yeah. And, and that's been learned. his life, hasn't it? That's been his life. But he did focus. that for ten years to get to to get to his level. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, who who better to teach me than him? You know. And uh, like I always say, you've got to if you want something really bad, you've got to go to people who've got what you want. Yeah. And he had the body I wanted in terms of the shape, not the bodybuilding shape, but the fitness shape. Mm -hmm. So in terms of the diet, I radically had to change my diet. Now, what I believed was if I wanted to lose fat is to eat less carbohydrates, right? But I realized that was a big mistake because I started to lose muscle and yeah. weight. Yeah, which um, I mentioned to you beforehand as well. And I think in your mind, you think, no, Carl, you, it's not right. Yeah. You, you, I yeah. don't want carbs. Yeah. It's going to put things yeah. up. But actually carbs are the burning energy. That's that the first source you. of your muscle yeah, goes to. Yeah, the first source. So it's a really, I mean, for people there who are dieting, just the first thing is don't just cut out all your carbs. Yeah. Just eat good carbohydrates. Now, you've seen my shape on camera today with the underwear. I'm eating six times a day. So every three hours I'm eating a big meal yeah. with either chicken, fish, a good source of protein, mm -hmm. and a good carb, carb, like brown rice or sweet potato or something like or maybe eggs and mm -hmm. rice, something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't. I don't have any sauces. Nothing at all. No gravy. No sauces. Mm -hmm. I don't have any sugar anymore. So those people are there going, "Oh God, you got to have the sauces. You got to have the sugar." But you're like, "Yeah, but look at my body. Yeah. That's what so my focus is." So I would rather do that is. and have a body like that and sacrifice that. Now yeah. the other thing I did. So this is a sacrifice that people that have was to go through. a huge sacrifice yeah. for me. But now I'm used to it. Mm -hmm. It's easy. Yeah. At first, it was very, very difficult because I was so addicted to sugar, mm. so addicted to chocolate, yeah. so addicted to wine. Yeah. I mean, before I started this, I was drinking, I, I was drinking three bottles of wine a day. Now, some people yeah. would call that an alcoholic, right? <laughs> we a just call it fun. <laughs> and on New Year's Eve, uh, that was the last time I had alcohol. Mm. So now it's So that's been it's yeah, four months now. Four nearly. months, yeah. So I've had no alcohol since then. At first, it was very, very difficult because I missed it. Going out with the boys, going out socially, I missed it. Yeah. Why are you not drinking, Mark? What's up? Mm. Something wrong with you? Mm. Have you got something wrong? You know, why? Exactly. I think that's what people go through with so their it's friends. It's like the peer pressure yeah. is really amazing. Mm. But now, I actually do not, miss, do not miss alcohol at all. In fact, when I smell it, it kind of turns my stomach. How did you go through that peer pressure, though? Because obviously people out there are like, but I can't, my friends always just, well, I just change the mind. I just remembered and... what my goal was. Yeah. I remembered to center myself. And I said, listen, uh, with respect, I don't drink anymore. Mm. Mm -hmm. because I'm pursuing my And goal. let's face it, if your friends didn't respect that, then yeah. they're not really your friends. They're not my friends. And that's what you have to start thinking. If you have a goal, you have a target, you've got to make sacrifices. Yeah. And that can be sacrifices in food, or it can be sacrifices in friendship. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and you, you have to take those decisions if you really want to get to your goals The people that start seeing the body change, that well, yeah, respect. Exactly. Right? So when I go out now, I have a Diet Coke or an orange juice, mm -hmm. or a glass of water. Yeah. But I still have a great time because you don't need yeah. alcohol to have mm -hmm. a great time, right? So in terms of, I think people will be like, yeah, but you know, you say you've got this money, you're a millionaire, so it's easy for you now to do this. But actual fact, your business, you I mean, you know, I'm friends with you yeah. and I know you're away most weeks yes. somewhere. Yeah. You're in Singapore, you're in Australia, you yes. went back to America, you well, we were in the UK. I'm speaking all over the world, so I'm actually yep. working a lot. <clears throat> exactly. You don't have to do that, mm. but it's a choice. 
because so I want to do I want, I want people to understand that even though... I've got a heavy, heavy he's schedule. Got a heavy heavy schedule. schedule. So he has to focus even when you're traveling. In fact, one of my biggest challenges, around. like you said, is traveling. It's yeah. actually having to do the diet and work out when I'm in a yeah. hotel. And I have to pick the right hotels and the gyms next to me that I can go to, but also people that I know that might train with me. Yeah. So that's really challenging to do that. In fact, I went to Indianapolis, USA, two months ago. It was freezing cold and mm. I had to go and run twice a day. I had to go to yeah. the gym still. And that was really challenging to yeah. do that when you're on your own. But you just got to remember your vision and your goal and your mm-hmm. purpose. And when I and remember always that, have it in your mind. When I, that, that centered me and I didn't really care because all these voices are telling you, don't do it, stay in bed, don't do it. What are you doing, yeah. crazy guy? Mm-hmm. What are you doing, running Eat in the snow? Eat a pizza, do it. Yeah, have yeah. a McDonald's and all this stuff, you know. But my, my, basically my goal was stronger than um, those temptations. Yeah. And now I've seen that today, I thought, oh, it's kind of like redeemed my sacrifices and now we're going to do your video and you'll probably yeah. see a difference because the thing is with the polo is they're very clean yeah. right they're very clean um not much uh lighting um difference uh, we don't do contrast lighting um editing wise we don't edit that much because they're supposed to be clean natural shots so what you'll find now when we're doing the video you will be astounded because we this is now when we go high contrast lighting yeah so now mate you're going to get even even more of a Wow, wow, look at my body. I'm psyched. Yeah. I'm because, excited. yeah, we, did, we just did, did a co- couple of shots there at the end, which weren't for his Polaroid, but just more for, for Marco to be yeah. like, wow. And we just changed the lighting, you know, and lighting makes a huge difference. It does. Um, but what it does. it does is it gets the confidence levels. Yeah. You know, so now you're just like, wow, it really look at my body. stuff you've been working on more. Yeah. So you, exactly. you can actually see, oh my God, what a mm. transformation. You know? So when you're going through all of this, you know, all of these tools are going to help you and it's just building that confidence up, those layers of confidence that you're going to get um, to enable you to reach your goals and, so, and targets. So, great thing about Carl is not a model agency, he's a person that is um, thinking, his, his thesis, his philosophy is to take you through a process to get you to a level where you can model confidently. Yeah. And you're not afraid, or you're not thinking of you can't mm. do it, or you mm. haven't got the right body, or you haven't Well, we right always confidence. say, don't we, you know, um, fear is the biggest killer of confidence. So. What helps destroy fear is the knowledge of what you're doing. So now Marco has been through the process, even of the Polaroids now, he started to understand angles, lighting, yeah. you know, I've explained some of the poses that you can do to help yeah. you, the movements that, you know, not, not, not crunching in, not holding your shirt so yeah. tightly. And, not as easy know, as I thought, I yeah. tell you that. What he does, naturally, pose this, pose that way, not easy at all. But it's something you, anybody can learn, the more you practice, you're more dedicated you are to doing it. Now he's got this new target for the next two months. Um, and Marco, obviously, he's very confident now, and he's also confident in his business because he speaks to a lot of people. A lot, I mean, last weekend you were speaking to over 200 people about your business, but just because he's confident in that doesn't mean it's gonna come across well as a talent to sell himself to the clients that are gonna book him for TV commercials or book you for the shoots or even the fashion shows that you know, potentially you can do. So now Marco has to start refocusing his energies and understanding how he can come across as good as he can, as confident as he can, in order for the clients to actually just be like, I know Marco can do this job, because that's what it's down to. As soon as you show the client that you can do that job, the confidence they have in you means you get the job straight away. Yeah. So I think now you've, you've realized that, especially yeah. even from doing the Polaroids today. Yeah. Um, we're now gonna do the video. So we'll see what happens with that. Do you wanna just say anything to them out there about you know, the academy and yeah. how it's helping them, how it's helping Don't you. Don't give up any dream. It doesn't matter what you look really, how you're thinking, you think you're ugly, you think you're this, you're that. Don't worry about that. Just go through the process, allow it to happen. And the most important thing is have a mentor who's achieved international modeling stardom, really, in a way, because he's modeled for all the brands. That's what you want to be associated with. You don't want to be associated or have a mentor that's not done all that. Go with people that have done what they have said they have done. We've got a track record, and they can tell you exactly what it has to do to be a top model, right? Yeah, that's, that's the message, really. And, and, and even with, with, with not just being the model, but 
being in the industry. You know, using these tools are the steps to enhance, enhancing your opportunity to making it in the industry. And now you see, Marco, you have gone through those steps and you can now go off on different directions within the entertainment industry. Yeah. You're not just focused towards that because you're able to be on camera, you're able to do the photo shoots, you're able to walk out to the same audience. The broad audience. Exactly. So that's, that's really what cool. you know people really need to understand. It's not their just market. about doing catalogue models or catwalk, it's about all kinds of media you can yep. do. Exactly. TV, and it's, be, it's about building your branding. Yeah. That's what it is. Personal it's about brand. building your brand. And you know, you taught me that at the very beginning. I'm now taking that into the academy and developing it in, in the tools that we've, we've got in process. So uh, anyway, let's get on. Let's do let's it. Let's go and do the video. Thank See you soon. I'm so delicious and I'm precious. Please don't bother me. You've got your eyes upon my body. You can't handle me. Showtime. You never wanna get your hands on me. It's showtime.